Hello and welcome to my F122 driver crew mode here today for part 25 for the French Grand Prix. Last time we were in Austria for our second sprint weekend and it wasn't very successful but before we go to this French Grand Prix this is your qualifying report. So before we go into qualifying after the last engine blew up in Austria we're going to take a whole new engine this time out. So we start now at the end of qualifying because the first one was absolutely shocking and we can see we are currently sitting P18 just behind our teammates. We've found quite a lot of time but unfortunately it wouldn't be enough and we would go on to start the race P16. Let's go to Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Yuki Tsunoda completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Perez, Carlos Sainz, and Fernando Alonso, Magnussen, Ricardo, Norris, and Max Verstappen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Gasly, Brown, Alex Albon, and Schwartzman, Ocon, Joe, George Russell. They've taken a grid penalty, and Lance Stroll, Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. What a qualifying from Yuki Tsunoda on the front row. Very well done. We're going to do a one-stop medium to hard. Let's go then to the French Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go and it looks like the Ferrari's got the best of Yuki Tsunoda. We are going to have to do something going into the first corner and now we are going to try and go around the outside of several cars and also around the outside of the Red Bull there with Max Verstappen we go a little bit wide it's the two McLarens up ahead what a power they had last time out in Austria it's now we go they're still they're going wheel to wheel just like last time out and Ricardo's gone wide and we've snuck through and up ahead it is Lando Norris can we get him? We've got him as well. Ricardo then comes back out. Comes back at us as we head down the very, very long straight on this track. And now there's the Alfa Romeo trying to get involved. Lando as well trying to get involved, but we deal with it. But we have lost out to Ricardo there. Ricardo's like to get away, and here comes the other McLaren. We slice across. And Put him on the curb coming out of turn one. And here comes Lando again. He's going to try and do us round the outside. What a move. There's Max Verstappen just behind. He's not going to take long to get through. But Lando's gone wide. And Max Verstappen, St. Maximus, sneaks through. This is side by side. Lando's not giving up. But eventually, I think he's going to have to. There's round the outside goes Max Verstappen. And now looks like no job done for him. But Lando's still putting up a fight. Fair play, Lando. But eventually, it's not enough and the Red Bull is through. And it wouldn't be long before, as we go very, very wide at that corner. Max was on the back of us as we go wide to take my race in line. And Max Verstappen sneaked through. And there's nothing I could do about that, but I did try and really overtake him. But we went off the track, and then Max sneaked back through, but we were now on the inside. But unlike last time out, I would have fought him. There's no point. We're currently sitting P10, and it's a battle for P9. Obviously, it's still crucial points, but not as many as last time. How is Fernando goes to our inside and nearly drops it? Should have given him more room there, but here he comes again. Here comes Lando Norris up towards that very, very flat out right hander. We are side by side we go. Gas is waiting in the wings as well. Round the outside goes Lando. We still forcing him the long way around. And he's still there. He's nearly contact again. To the inside goes Lando now. We're still there, but eventually he gets his nose ahead. But we're still there next to him. But round the outside we go. 
and Lambda has finally got the job done. We thought, we thought, but it wasn't enough. And now here comes Gasly and like a rocket ship past us, going into turn one. In the background, there's a Mercedes. That was off George Russell, needs a good result. It was a good result last time out for him, needs to build on that momentum. As he, he follows us across the back of us, we had a great battle with him last year before the engine blew up. And he's on the back of us and he's absolutely mugged us going down the straight as we fall out of the top 10 since Gasly overtook us. But we tried to re overtake him, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. And George is free. Now this is Daniel Ricciardo, he's managed to catch those in front but he's pulling over to the side of the track and he is out. He's going to pull over to retire from the French Grand Prix. What disappointment from the McLaren garage. He's doing so well lately. This is Albon having a little look at us. Too far back to do anything but he's pushing us through his first couple of corners. We go a little bit wide, losing momentum through guys Albon. And he gets the job done on us. We try and try and keep it back and now we're gonna try and switch back in. But we have a massive oversteer moment. And that hasn't helped at all. As we go through the kink and now onto the back straight. One lap later we are sticking with Albon and we are gonna try and send it back down to the inside. We couldn't do that, but Albon's gone wide and we've snuck back through. That's a great move. I did say so myself. There's a bit of a train behind us now as Albon still there sticking with us. And now he's trying to go the long way around into turn one. We fend him off though. We live to fight another day, but Albon's dropped back a little bit. And now they're all going for it. Look at that. There's Swords went down the inside of Albon, the battle flag about Mark Schumacher as well. It's all kicking off here. In France, as we go through the tricky first sector. And on lap 12, we've gone wide. What's that about? What is that about? That's a bit dodgy. We've gone, we've gone to take the line to, to go into the pits and Albon's crossed the white line and got in ahead of us. FIA have a word. What is going on there? But we are going to pit make our one and only stop onto the hard tyres. We follow Albon. In we go. We just, just beat out the Alfa Tauri there. Of Ocon. Wow. And he's got himself ahead of Albon and Schwartzman there. Of um, Joe Guan Yu, rather. But can we now? This is George Russell coming through. And what's happened to him? He's slowing down. George is slowing down. And George pulls over to the side of the track and is out of the French Grand Prix. And with Charles Leclerc in a very healthy boot first place. As he currently stands, we nearly make contact with Stroll. That's going to be a big dent in his title hopes. He's after a couple of good races from Leclerc. He has started to pull, it, pull away in the championship as we go around the outside of Swartzman. Their tyres are very, very cold. And we get one. We get one of them. And we're about possibly to get the other of Nicholas Latifi. We're getting closer, we're getting closer, we're getting, we're getting closer. We're going to swap him the dummy and dive bomb round the outside. At the chicane, beautiful move there. And we live to fight another day, but this is as we go take a tight line. Latifi swoops round and absolutely mugs us there. And there's Swartzman also coming at, coming at us, and we've been done by both of them. Swartzman tries to get past Latifi, it's not happening though. And it's job done for them to be very disappointed now. As we catch what's been napping back down the inside of him we go. On lap 16 we will overtake him and then we are following Latifi. We will re-overtake him as well. 
and just had a bit of a dodgy lap. Now on lap 25, Mick Schumacher cuts his way through Schmidt with Adam Latifi and overtakes us. Going into that chicane, we're going to stick with him now. Can we try and get a move and we've already overtake him? Fortunately not. One lap later though, we're on the back of him, we managed to stick with him. And we're going to swap in the dummy and we're going to send it round the outside just like we've done to Latifi earlier on in the Grand Prix. Is say time is off. That's a great result. Charles Leclerc though wins the French Grand Prix and extends his championship by a great margin. Now, as we go wheel to wheel with Mick Schumacher, we stay ahead of him just, but we are racing on fumes. You can see there, and going into the final corner, we have run out of fuel. We've run out of fuel. The car's gone into limp mode. We try and block those behind, but we're being mugs left, right and centre. As three they go from P11, it's going to become 15 as we run out of fuel. Another excellent win from Ferrari. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Mistake number one, up in a fuel to get to the end of the Grand Prix. Literally going into the final corner, I lost all power. I had nothing. That's very, very annoying and very stupid as well. But Charles Leclerc now has a 31 point lead over George Russell. That retirement really not helping him out. We didn't score any points either. And we go to the next one in Hungary. Pretty disappointed but hopefully we can get some points there but we shall see a bit of an uneventful race compared to the last one in austria but until the next one in hungary goodbye